All right, so before I left, I told you guys I was gonna clean up this whole mess and just figure out the truck, but I actually had a huge problem where these springs don't wanna compress. So like the way this sits, it like seats up in there, but then this arm has to like swing around and it's like almost impossible to do it. And the only like, these are the spring compressors I have, but these are like outside mounts. And because this thing sits in a huge cup up there and on the bottom, it was like literally impossible for me to get that spring on. So the truck's just been sitting here dead the whole time. I ordered a new spring compressor and it's supposed to be an inside mount one. Showed up the other day and literally, it looks like this. So I guess these, this goes up the center of the spring and grabs it. I don't know. I thought this was kind of cool. It's a huge pain in the ass, but at least now I have this. Hopefully I can get this thing moved after today's video. But just a reference for anybody that's ever gonna take that spring out, don't do it unless you have an inside mount spring compressor because there is, there's just no way to get it back. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. We are finally back from SEMA. We had a merch shop. I was kind of sick when I got back, so we've just been kind of catching up, trying to get back to life. I do want to say thank you for everybody who participated in the merch shop. You guys absolutely sold me out of the yellow sweaters in six minutes. Like, that's just, it's just unreal. Like, the amount of support you guys show me every time we have a merch shop is super, super awesome. Um, we're gonna have one first week of December. I'm not gonna give you guys a date yet. For anybody that missed this one, be sure to stay up to date, follow the committed crew, and just, just don't miss updates because I know a couple of you guys missed this drop. While we were gone at SEMA, we got some more goodies in the mail. Boom. I'm gonna say let's start with this guy. Yo, there's a, so much in this box. I love when you open a box, it's just like full to the max. Damn, dude. So. ADD W1. These guys, I'm using their catch cans in all the vehicles, except the Civic. The Civic catch can is still the Wish one from the budget build, but I wanted another one, and I told them, I'm like, yo, I wanna upgrade the catch can, and they're like, wait, we have something really dope coming for you guys. So you guys know we have these on the BRZ240. They have like the little colored rings and stuff, and they're sweet, but he's like, if you hold on, we have something really nice in the works. Dude, look at this, this looks sick. Ooh, we even got labels. That's for the BRZ, that's for the Civ. Dude, look at this thing. They started making carbon fiber catch cans. How sweet are these? And these have like the thinner rings on them. I, I'm just a huge fan. Like I think this design is super, super nice. The old ones are obviously beautiful also. Just look at this thing. So then in the box, you have a bunch of hose clamps and fittings to go on the end here. Little stickers, some check valves. And then I just got a bunch of bulk hose because we have a, a bunch of stuff going on. So they just sent me a bunch of bulk hose. That way I can figure everything out I need to figure out. To my boys at ADDW1, thank you for these, dude. These are sick. These are actually really, really nice. This is really carbon fiber. It's not just a sticker. It's not just some garbage. These days it's hard to find a real quality, actual carbon fiber product. When it says it's carbon fiber, usually it's not. So I'm hyped on this. But this isn't all we're doing for the Civic today. And in here, oh my god. This is what we're really here to do today. Oh, another loaded box. These look sick. All right, so today we're finally gonna be upgrading the brakes on the Civic. So first of all, a huge shout out to Hawk Performance for sending out all this good stuff. Um, they literally send me even different options for like different things I want to do with the Civic. Like, can we just take a second and just look at these? I never thought I'd see the day where the Civic had such beautiful brakes. Slotted and drilled rotors. And they just look beautiful, dude. Like, they look so nice. And that was a rear, so it was kind of ugly, but... Anyways, we're finally going to be upgrading the brakes on the Civic today. There's different routes you can go. Obviously, some people are going to be like, Rob, you should just got a big brake kit. But like even just upgrading brake pads and rotors and stuff like that, you still get more friction force than OEM. So like this will still help the, the Civic stop faster and it will be, it'll allow me to beat on them a little bit more and have them last a little bit longer. So they sent out the drilled and slotted rotors and they also sent out some performance ceramic pads. So these guys are just like kind of your more basic upgrade. You can't really see them, they're in a package. They just look like brake pads. These ones will give you the better friction force. They're supposed to make like absolutely no brake dust and they're supposed to be super, super quiet, which is good. So what we're probably gonna do is we're probably gonna run these ones for now because that's kind of what I'm going. And then what they also sent out was their racing disc pads. So these are the HP Plus pads. These guys are supposed to be a lot noisier. They will make a lot more sound. Um, they will make a lot more brake dust but they will perform a lot better. Basically, they sent me these guys, so if I go do an autocross day, I can throw these guys on, they'll perform way better for that day, um, but I don't have to drive around with like noisy, squeaking brakes all the time and making a lot of brake dust and stuff. So huge thank you to Hawk Performance for doing this. This is, this is a quality upgrade. I wonder 
if there's actually even anything in this. When I just pulled it, I realized it's leaking out of the bottom, which is good. That means whatever was in here may have just kind of left. All right, well, there's like a little bit of oil in here. You guys can see it's like nothing major. I don't even know if you can see it. There's like a little bit in the bottom. And then there's like a lot of poo on this. But honestly, I'm gonna say that this was never doing its job fully. At least with this guy, it has all the proper fittings, it has all the proper size hoses and stuff, and this one will actually do a very good job. I know from experience that this thing is gonna catch a butt. And also, just look, look how much nicer it looks, dude. Ooh, it looks so good. So I think I'm gonna put this, does this guy fit actually? <laughs> it's just too big. You know what? I might have to just move this entire real estate over to here which there's really no reason why this can't go here. Everything in this engine bay is on this side. We did the wire tuck and everything, it's pretty clean, but like the majority of the stuff that's still here is over here. Over here, there's literally nothing. I don't think it'll be that big a deal if I just pop this guy over there. I literally just plumbed it all up exactly the way it used to be except now it looks way better because all the hoses match like this is what we had before we had like little dinky hoses going to look connectors and better hoses and then now everything has a fresh new connection nice new hose everything looks nice and mint and I kind of like where this guy sits like when you look in you you see it it's nice but it's not right in your face and I guess like most importantly it's super easy to access like that you can just grab it right here um, so it's basically, like I said, it's all hooked up the same except this one has check valves which is way more important. That way none of the vacuum pressure ends up getting messed with because the other one didn't and I'm probably, that's probably why it didn't work the best. There was not much left on these guys. All right, so check this out. This is, this is what we were working with. This is what we are upgrading to. Not only is like does this just look 10 times cooler, but it's actually gonna be like functional and good, but like it'll just look so much better on this thing. I was gonna try and take this thing out and do like a little stop test first and see how much faster it stopped with the old brakes versus how much faster it stopped with the new brakes, but it's raining out, everything is wet, and I feel like that's kind of like not a fair assessment. We've really had no brakes for a long time, so I'm sure we're gonna notice like right away. That's super easy. Thankfully, the brakes on this thing are like super, super basic. This one was way worse. There was only contact on like half this rotor. And this is old too, like this rotor's gross. And like it looks good. It's kinda, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera. When you're just over here looking, like it just looks super cool. You just see that it's got slotted and drilled rotors and you're just like, oh damn. And I guess, honestly, I could've probably painted the front ones, but I don't know if I want blue anymore. Now that the car's yellow and black mainly, I feel like blue doesn't go. And we're gonna get rid of the blue seats and everything also, so like the blue theme kind of is gone. I know people are gonna see it and be like, why did you not paint that? Your rear ones are painted, what are you doing? Like, I wanna paint them, I just, I can't figure out what color. That looks correct to me. <laughs> it looks so funny to have like such a dinky ass little thing that's like slotted and drilled and fancy. Okay, we got this side done, and we got this side done. This side seems to be having like weird issues. Like this one, inner pad was like all janked. Obviously that was like, I guess my fault when I put it together, but it was like wearing super weirdly. It was like on an angle, I guess, so it was wearing in like this. What I can tell you is that I'm gonna have to keep my eyes on this one. I'm probably gonna drive it around for a little bit, take it back apart, and then just make sure that it's wearing nicely on the backside, because the last thing I wanna do is pooch my brand new brakes. But they're all on there, they're all complete. So Hawk also sent out some brake fluid. This is basically in case I want to do a flush or in case I want to like upgrade it before I go do some kind of event. Um, I'm going to leave that there because I will need it, but once you open it, it's kind of irrelevant and we did just bleed the brakes sometime. It wasn't too long ago. Okay, wheels are on and torqued. Hopefully the brakes are installed right. Give the brakes a little pump before we try and go somewhere. We have no brakes. I also think one of the things I want to do next is an exhaust. I think I want something like deeper. It's okay, but it's just not, not what I'm looking for. The 
braking for these says do 80. Slow down to 15. Get back up to 80. And then slow down to 15. And it says to do that 20 times. Boom, baby. That's it. That's the final one. While I was doing that, I was shifting and I'm like, yo, why does it feel so good to drive right now? And then I just realized I literally haven't driven any of my cars in like two weeks. And damn, it feels good to drive your car after you haven't driven it for a while. I was just having fun just literally getting up to 80 and coming back down. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, why are you enjoying this? Also, with these brakes, obviously, like, they're not, they're not gonna be, like, crazy difference, but I do notice that giving them the same amount of pressure, so, like, giving them just, like, braking right now, I notice I stop much more abruptly. Like, that much brake pressure before would have stopped me in, like, what I'm gonna say is, like, more distance. That's good. I'm excited. Dude, they stink. And now that they are worn in, yeah, they're silver, like I thought they would go. You kind of just wear that like ceramic or whatever coating is on there. You just wear it right off. It's getting a little darker now. Dude, I hate, I hate the time change. Time change ruins everything. Like I just want to come out and do things. Like it's dark way too early for me to get enough stuff done in the day and then come out and still film in the daylight. But you guys can see, or maybe you can't, you definitely, you can see them. Just standing here right now, you can definitely see that they're there, which is dope. That's how they're looking now. I, I gotta take my phone out to show you guys. <laughs> That's how they look. They look good, they feel good, I'm happy with them. A huge thank you to guys at ADDW1 for the catch can is quality and awesome looking as always. And huge thank you to Hawk Performance for hooking us up with the new brakes. I'm excited to not be driving around with no brakes anymore, but before I let you guys go, I wanna show you something. I mentioned this in a couple videos, I haven't really talked about it much because like, I, I was just trying to figure it out myself. It's one of those things where it's like just a stupid little problem the Civic was having, but it became like a pretty big issue. What's happening is the car will boost in first and second. It's really hard for me to show you that because the torque steers like crazy. Sorry, I'm so dark also. Second is sometimes. Second, it normally will cut out if I'm flat footing it. If I give it like just a little bit less than 100% throttle, it'll go. Second, it'll cut out. Third, will not boost at all. Even if you creep up on it so slowly, it doesn't happen. And fourth, same thing as a write-off. Anyways, I'm going to show it to you guys. I want you guys to tell me if you have had this or if you know what this is. I took the wastegate apart and I cleaned it. Like I literally cleaned the entire surface. There is no friction. There's nothing there. I know it's it's not the spring being too stiff because it still opens in first and sometimes second. Um, it's tuned, everything is the exact same way that it was tuned. Nothing has changed. It just stopped boosting. I don't know why. We have an eight pound spring and what happens is it'll normally get to like seven pounds and then you'll see the boost gauge read eight and then the, the screw pipe will open and you'll see like black smoke come out the hood. It'll be stupid loud, but it'll maintain eight. And what's happening now is I boost, boost, boost and as soon as I hit eight, it just goes and the whole car jolts and that's it, it cuts me off. I'm gonna do my absolute best to show you here. Um, I can't absolutely mat it in second, like I said, otherwise it, it won't boost. Okay, check this out, it's super weird. So watch the boost gauge, you'll see it'll get up there and then the waste gauge should, should open. There it is. Essentially it gets up to boost, it cracks open, you see the puff of smoke come out of the waste gate and I'm good, I'm cruising, I'm, I'm moving. That wasn't flat, that was about 60% throttle. Um, if I gave it, like I said, if I gave it 100, it wouldn't happen. But now watch what happens if I do the same thing in third. Yeah, it won't go, it just won't go past. It doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter how much or how little throttle I give it, it'll do that every time. So annoying, it's so annoying. And I also realized that the AFR gauge right beside the boost gauge I told you to look at is reading 03. That's an error code. I had it in there and then I, I changed a couple things. It got unplugged and I just have to plug it back in. It's reading okay though. So AFR stuff was reading totally fine the whole time this was happening. So that's, if you guys know anything, just let me know. It'll just save me a little bit of time and money going in to get it tuned again and everything when it probably doesn't even need it. I could probably figure it out myself. I just, I can't. Like, I don't know. I tried everything I could think of and I just don't know. So if you guys know, let me know. Other than that, that's all we got for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed.